Hello guys, welcome to Khasi 3D. In this video, I will tell you what proper steps you can take in Blender in order to export the mesh and use it in Substance 3D Painter. In the last video, we have UV unwrapped the model in ZBrush. I exported the mesh and imported it in Blender. Also, there is a really cool plugin called GoZ for Blender, which lets you import export your mesh really quickly from ZBrush to Blender. I highly recommend you download the plugin. It would make your workflow really fast. So back to the topic. I divided the model in two parts, low poly and high poly. The low poly consists of four meshes and the high poly consists of only one because we only need the high poly details of the body to bake the details into low poly body. While other three mesh which I don't need the high poly details will just use those for a normal baking. Note, your situation may differ. For example, if you have put small details onto the mesh during sculpting, you would need the high poly mesh in order to bake the tiny details. Now listen carefully because this is important. Materials in Blender are texture sets in Substance Painter. The materials we give and rename in Blender will appear as texture sets in Substance Painter. This is a very important step because it will keep you organized while navigating your mesh for texturing. For example, giving this mesh a material name body will appear as texture set by the same name in Substance Painter. Now very first thing you have to do is to check the namings of your meshes. They have to be low underscore low to make it organized and uh, to check the uvs you have to check the uvs of each of the meshes by selecting them and go to the uv editing by default zbrush do a pretty good job uv packing them properly but you can also go to uv and pack islands accordingly basically you have to fill the grid with all the uvs and not left any of this gap do uh, uv as good as you can otherwise you can also use the plugin called uv unpack 2 which is a premium plugin and uh, either way you do it manually or do it from the zbrush or pack uvs pack use the feature pack island from this grid uh, but each and every UVs must to be in this grid. And then uh, you have to give each mesh a material with the name on it. Remember the material in Blender is texture set in Substance Painter. So I will write body for it. For the apparel I will use give them separate materials and renaming them I have total four meshes I will select the eyes too and click the eyes and for the hair mustache and other parts I will just use new and type hair all right now we have the meshes with the proper naming convection and uh, the materials with name on it which will be texture sets in substance painter and each and every uvs are good to go the uv part must be done properly you can also do the face orientation check which you can go to this uh, icon here and turn on face orientation you can see this whole meshes is blue okay there would be come a time when some of the meshes will turn to red if it does just select select them go to edit mode and shift n press shift n and recalculate normals okay it will turn your red into blue and this option can be turned on and turn off from this icon and clicking on face orientation now we are good to go for exporting this mesh in Substance Painter. So I will export first using the FBX format. I have made a shortcut here. You can go to file and export it. Just click FBX, select the uh, destination. Make sure you turn on the selected objects and just export FBX. It will export the low poly mesh. Now for the high poly, I will only use the body part okay i will only use this body part because the t-shirt and the hair doesn't have this much details for i'm only using this high poly bake uh, for the 
baking process for the body part of the low the low body part okay i will just make sure your mesh is not really high okay if it is go to decimation master in zbrush and decimate it now i will just export it again and uh, we'll write high okay and click it on export now we have exported two meshes the low poly and the high poly now we will turn the substance painter on now we are in substance painter i am using the latest 2023 version to upload the model you have to click this option here file and click on new you would see a screen here you don't have to change anything apart from few settings uh, which is completely optional the template is set to blender starter assets because i will render this model in blender so i will stick with this template you can change to other templates but for example if you are uh, structuring if you are rendering this model in maya 3ds max you might have to choose the uh, pbr metallic roughness starter assets and normal map format to direct x but in our situation we are using blender so i will stick with the normal map format opengl because blender uses opengl and document resolution i might change it to a slightly high for example the maximum 4096 it is basically the resolution of the canvas you would move your model and rotate other than that you don't have to change anything because we have uv unwrapped our model manually so me, we might want to turn this option off it is off by default but uh, if you haven't unwrapped your model you can turn on this option and let the software do the rest of the uv unwrapping so i will click on the select and by desktop i will open this blender to substance painter and click it select that and click it open and just click it ok and our model will be uploaded here now uh, to navigate it hold alt and click to navigate in but this is not substance painter navigation beginner tutorial so i will just skip this part now to bake the map uh, you have to go to the each and every mesh and uh, go to structure set settings and click the bake mesh map but before that as you can see the texture set list is appearing the same as what we gave the name in the material preset we gave the hair hair material eyes eyes body uh, this is why i was saying this is very important naming the materials giving and naming the materials in blender so to bake each and every mesh uh, there is a whole new screen for that in substance painter 2023 uh, which is i'm selecting the body and click bake mesh maps and it will open a whole new section of the baking and the output size i am want 4k for the body and remember we have exported the high poly mesh for the body so i will just select this icon and select the high poly now the high poly mesh selected in this screen it will bake the map using the high poly uh, by default i don't use the I don't change the default settings but this cage will help you determine if whether you want to change the max frontal distance or max rear distance or not. I will hold alt and click on this body. So the baking process will only do the body part, rest it will not. I just uh, sometimes I just uncheck and bake each every piece individually but uh, I, for that for the body I will do this. I will click bake selected texture maps after selecting this file and just click bake and it will take some time in bake the details. The new baking will let you see the mesh while baking. Uh, it only it is a new feature which comes with the blender uh, substance painter 2023. Now I will return to painting mode and see the baking has done uh, good or not from all the sides i will skip this part because it will not show in the render our final render will be on this direction i am just holding the shift and right mouse button to change the lights okay the bake looks really good and uh, we can continue baking the rest of the map one thing i forgot to tell you this this common setting there are certain types of uh, maps you can do uh, what I do most of the time is turn this ID off because we don't have the ID of 
our mesh here uh, we can create the id in blender but for now i am just taking this off i will remove the high poly it is important that you remove the high poly which you have used for baking okay but because it will just mess up the other parts now i will turn body off and click apparel eyes and hair and bake selected meshes and we won't be using the high poly for this part so select this meshes and click bake selected textures remember you can get this model from my art station store for few bucks it will help me support the channel also it will help you see the model from all the sides all the settings all the textures textures comes along with the file so make sure if you want to see this mesh for yourself or support me directly by my model now the baking process has been done and i will return to the painting mode to see whether the baking process has been done right or not and i'm just clicking shift and holding the holding the shift and clicking the right mouse button to change the lights okay and the bake looks really good and we can continue all right the baking looks good and we are good for the painting process but the painting process will be done in the next video i hope you like this video this was sort of a blender to substance painter setting to settings video uh, which was very important uh, before painting our actual character so guys i hope you like this video if you do please leave a like comment and i will see you on the next video we will texture paint this character from the scratch it will be stylized texturing tutorial so take care and uh, goodbye